This is how you can create a really cool thumbnail using a Mac for free. Let's get started. First, let's take a picture of yourself or the thing that you want to have in the thumbnail with a clear background or a clean background. The background can be any color, but as long as it has one color only and you have a color different from the subject or the object, it's almost like don't wear green in front of a green screen. If you want to take a top down photo of an object on the table, same rule, just keep one color as the tabletop as clean as possible. The cheapest way to do it is to buy a cardboard color cardboard from the dollar store. That's what I use all the time. Make sure you have good and even lighting. It doesn't have to be super bright, but as long as it's even, then it should be good enough. And if you don't have any studio light at home, that's okay. Uh, you can try to take the photo besides the window using sunlight because sunlight is usually quite even. But try to have your curtain down so it can soften up the light as well. You can use a camera or just your phone to take the photo. That's what I did in this exercise. After taking the photo, import it onto your computer. What I did here is I have it on my desktop, saved on the desktop just to make it a little bit more convenient for you guys to see. You'll be using an app called Keynote on your Mac. It should be a built-in app if you accidentally deleted it. All you need to do is to go to the App Store, search for Keynote, and you should be able to download it for free because it's free for Mac users. As long as your computer is compatible with the Keynote, it should have the same function. I'm purposely using my 2011 MacBook Pro to demonstrate this process because you might wonder if your MacBook is compatible to use this program but my computer it's eight years old and, or even nine years old so I'm not using my MacBook Pro 16 inch I'm using just the old MacBook that I have to show you guys how to do it so the picture is on the desktop right now all you need to do is to open up Keynote that looks something like this open it up and it will ask you if you want to open up previous projects we're not going to do it we're going to click on new document and there are a couple of not a couple like a lot of templates actually for you to choose from but it doesn't really matter here because we're just going to have the entire picture to cover the background so we don't really need any kind of template here but of course you can choose the template with let's say a font that you like for example something that is like colorful but for now i'm just going to select the basic template Let's select the basic black template with the back background. I'm just going to delete the text box as long as you don't need to add text right now, but we can add it back in later. We can select the item, delete it using your keyboard, delete key, delete all the text. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that my document format is 16 by 9 in terms of aspect ratio. That's the frame 16 by 9 is the standard of YouTube thumbnail so that's why I'm keeping it 16 by 9 if you want to check you can click on document at the top right go down to slide size make sure that it is widescreen the photo that I have taken on an iPhone it's 4 by 3 so we are going to adjust the photo to cover the entire screen but I'm going to stick with widescreen for my document format next you're going to click on media at the top if your photo is actually in the photo album or a photos app, you can click on photos, but I have it on the desktop, so I'm going to select choose. That's how you can select a file that is saved on the desktop or any kind of folder. So my document or my photo is actually on the desktop. I'm going to click on insert. It's going to paste the photo in the middle. You can see that the photo is not filling the screen right now. I'm just going to zoom out very quickly by going to the top left. Click on zoom 25% so I can see the entire form or the, the entire format of the document. Now I can move the picture around just to make sure that I cover the whole screen and just like that. I'm trying to avoid the door frame because I took the picture in front of my door. That's a clean background so it works. As long as you see that your photo is covering the 16 by 9 aspect ratio, whatever that it's outside, it's not going to be on the thumbnail so don't worry about that part so now you have the picture covering the entire screen that's a good thing all you need to do next which is really simple actually it's go to format select the picture make sure that your picture is selected you see the dots around the picture that means you have selected the picture you'll go to image on the top right 
and there is an option called instant alpha this is the key so once you click onto this you'll see that your mouse has become a square shaped kind of magnifying glass if i move it around the picture you can see that this is for you to pick the color you don't want to keep and make it transparent so what happened is if i want to key out myself from the background i will get rid of the background so i'm just gonna use my mouse click onto the background it says zero percent right now but all you need to do is to drag up or drag to the right side you see that it changes to one percent and the screen is actually filled with like a bluish kind of color when it comes to the background not myself but if you keep on moving the mouse upward you'll see that shaded part it's getting bigger and bigger that's a good thing because you are actually getting rid of that background so you just need to keep moving it up until you see the entire background it's filled with that purplish blue color something like this 29 percent 30 percent this is pretty good already so if you want to have more things removed you can do it multiple times just use the color picker to pick on other item but there's one thing to keep in mind if you go too far let's say if i keep on moving it up you can see that my face is actually being highlighted that will get rid of that part of my face as well so you don't want that all you need to do is i have been holding down on my mouse button all you need to do is to drag it back down to let's say whatever percent that looks good for me i think 28 percent looks very good because above 28 percent it will somehow get to my skin or like other part of myself in the picture so 28 percent is pretty good you just need to let go and the background will now be removed because it's keyed out just like that you can see that it's a pretty clean cut you can't really see the effect right now because the background is set to black and i was wearing black that's why one thing i want to talk about or one thing that i mentioned before it's it's really important for you to wear something different from the background color when you're taking the photo and even an object you don't want to put a blue object in front of a blue wall so if it's a white wall as long as you don't wear white or super light color then it should be okay so now let's try to make myself pop out even more because now the background is black you can't really see me all i need to do is to not select the photo make sure that you select outside of the photo do a click and you'll see that under slide layout at the top right corner you have format again in the middle there's background you just need to click the drop down and select whatever color you want you can have a blue background like this and this is pretty nice or a darker background it's completely up to you but i would suggest you to do something a little bit lighter if your topic is like funny or fun or something happy do a brighter color or like it doesn't have to be a happy topic as long as it's lighter color it pops out a lot from other people you can try something like green i like yellow so i'm just going to select that and you can see that it looks really nice it's a really clean key out of myself in the photo at the top left corner that's where your slide is this will actually give you an idea of how the thumbnail looks like because at the middle you can't really see how it looks like with something distracting on the side because that part it's not being keyed out but it's outside of the 16 by 9 ratio so you are still safe this at the top left corner that's how your thumbnail is going to look like so that's done you can add text anything you can even take a photo of something else key that background out and then paste it wherever you want i can add text to it i can just click on text and you can see that i have a super tiny text box and that's because i zoomed out to 25 percent right so i'm not going to add that text right now i'm just going to delete it next let's try to export a thumbnail what you want to do is to click on to untitle at the top very top of the window and you will name this file because you want to organize your stuff and make sure that you don't have like multiple files or folders being called untitled and also if you want to go back and do adjustment after you e export the uh, thumbnail you can do that by saving it under the name 
So I'm just going to name it test thumbnail for now. And you can select where you want to save it. I'm just going to save it to the desktop again. And then I'm just going to click anywhere. Now this file is saved. This is not your thumbnail. This is just a keynote project. So that's why you can go back and do adjustment if you want. Trust me, I did it multiple times in the past. Like I always do that. Next, if you want to export this thumbnail into a picture or a photo image file, you can just click on file at the top left, go to export to and then select images. Under images, you don't need to worry about other stuff. It's under images. Uh, all you need to do is to export that as an image. You have format. This is quite important. JPEG is good enough for YouTube thumbnails, way good enough. You don't have to have super high quality when it comes to YouTube thumbnails. And PNG, it's a little bit bigger than JPEG. TIFF, it's the biggest unless you want to do adjustment under other programs after you don't need to select TIFF or PNG. I'm just going to save as JPEG high quality right now and click on next. And it'll ask me where to save this thumbnail again. This is separate from the keynote file or the keynote project. So I'm just going to select desktop, name it as test thumbnail. That's fine. Click on export. I'm going to minimize the screen. You can see that I have the picture on the desktop. That's the original picture. And this thumbnail, this is not the thumbnail. I should have named it differently. I'm just going to change it right now. This is the thumbnails keynote project. This is not the actual thumbnail. The actual thumbnail is under this test thumbnail folder. So when you export an image outside of Keynote or export it out of Keynote, I should say, it will create a folder because you might have multiple slides where you have multiple pictures in one project or under one project. You can create a template and do like multiple thumbnails all at once and export it to this one folder and you'll have multiple pictures or images under this folder. So now you can see that I have a test thumbnail JPEG. And this is basically the picture you can use for your YouTube thumbnail. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.